this is Jurassic Toys 2000, and I will be covering the humans of Kenner's Jurassic Park Series 1. Today we will be looking at Robert Muldoon with Firing Rocket Launcher and Tyrannosaurus Hatchling. This figure is a fan favorite not only because of his movie accuracy, or next best thing to accurate, but because of the firepower of his weapon. So let's begin by looking at articulation. As with most Kenner figures, Muldoon carries the standard five points of articulation. Articulation in the head, I would strongly advise not pushing it a full 360 because the head tends to be quite stiff and there's the chance that the peg could snap, rendering Muldoon headless. Kind of like his death in the movie. Clever girl. Both of his arms can go full 360 and his legs can move forward and only slightly back. Muldoon's uniform certainly conveys a Game Warden feel, and is somewhat similar to what is seen in the film, but it's quite clear that his overall appearance is based on his novel version. And this is quite apparent with his head sculpt. Sporting a full head of hair in a crew cut and a sly smile, Muldoon certainly does not represent Bob Peck, the actor who portrayed him. His head sculpt will be changed in series 2, and would certainly resemble Bob Peck a lot more. Muldoon sports a mostly khaki uniform, featuring a button-up shirt with sleeves pushed up and khaki shorts. He wears a yellow vest over his shirt which sports pockets, a pair of sunglasses hanging out of one pocket, and a blue name tag with the JP mark on it. His shorts sport cargo pockets and a utility belt which has separate pouches and a handgun in his holster which cannot be removed. On his right leg he has a knife in its scabbard, kind of an odd placement for this one. And finally, he wears brown boots with beige socks. What's interesting to note about Robert is his physique. His torso is very butch looking and his shoulders are broad. And I suppose they have to be for his weapon. Overall, Muldoon is another very simple figure. But stick around, his accessories will make him more worthwhile. His accessories include this rocket launcher which can be described as a long black tube with boxy protrusions sticking out from the bottom. This weapon is a fan favorite due to its firepower. It can fire its missiles a little over a yard with decent impact force. A missile can be loaded and then fired by pushing the red lever on top. The missiles are interestingly designed as well. Here we have a finned one, at least that's what I call it, and here we have one that I think looks like a tiki lamp. Unfortunately, I do not have this one, so I have to settle with an extra finned missile, thus making Muldoon a de facto 100% complete. Both missiles can be stored in Muldoon's backpack, which features minimal details like pockets and seams. The backpack can be attached to him by these straps, and he looks pretty butch when he has them on. Now all geared up, it's pretty clear that Kenner had the novel in mind when designing Muldoon. His rocket launcher is obviously based on the one he uses against Rexy in the novel, so he doesn't have his trademark Spas 12 shotgun. And again, like in the novel, he is paired up with a T-Rex but only a small one. In contrast to the other hatchlings of this line, this Tyrannosaurus is quite unattractive looking, seeing as how the teeth are all gnarled up and the proportions are just bizarre. Though bizarre they may be, they are certainly interesting. Looking at the head, you can see that the Rex is almost like a big mouth. Uh, everything else in comparison to it is somewhat smaller. And honestly, I think it looks like Shin Godzilla. The body is really small and is really just a wider extension of the tail which has this vein running on either side, uh, which is kind of neat. You can see there's some scaling patterns uh, running along the back, these little bumps, some scales on the torso and on the belly. The arms, though recognizable as small with two fingers, look kind of deformed when you look at it at different angles and the legs are muscly with big feet. On the upper left leg you can see the JP mark in black, but it's sort of rubbed off on mine, but we all know that this is Muldoon's hatchling. This little Rex has an earthy two-way color scheme of dark green, almost like an OD green, running on the topmost portion of the figure, with a prominent brown on the face, portions of the torso, the legs, tail, and most of the underside. Now this little guy versus Muldoon's rocket launcher. What could possibly go wrong?
So there we have it everyone, that was today's look at the Jurassic Park Series 1 Robert Muldoon figure. Another fine set with an interesting figure, though lacking somewhat in movie accuracy, but an excellent weapon and a decent hatchling makeup for it. What do you think guys, do you already have this figure in your collection? Are you planning on adding it to your collection? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more.